G'day and welcome back to our Muscle Man campaign in Hearthstone 4. How's our planes actually doing? Right, we're sending them to Northern Front. Let's actually uh, switch them around to Central Russia since we decided we're going to do this uh, spearhead over there next. Now, we're doing a defense, which is awesome. So instead of losing a million men, Soviets can start losing it. It's unfortunate about the time of year, but it's fine. It's a matter that we're losing a couple. Yeah, we really just need the reinforcements. Um, easiest way would be to just cancel the new divisions. Give us the manpower back. Keep making the tanks. Which are... Auto-joining these guys. Alright, and yeah, Czechoslovakia is blowing out through Germany. Be hilarious if Germany capitulated in this to Czechoslovakia. Factionless Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Alright. Fine, we don't care because we're not at war with Czechoslovakia. Alright, it's green up around Moscow, that's the main thing. Pushing these guys out a little. We just want to wait for our full planning bonus. So they are redeploying all over the place. Well, not cool, but uh, yeah. So, manpower is still going to be short. 300,000. Far out, we lost a lot of men. Infantry equipment is going to be the next problem. That's six months out. Again, probably a lot of it's because of these guys. Um, let's just get rid of a couple of these. I only really want six more. Right, and that's the only time you're going to do it. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, and 148. 149. 150. So, service for our requirements next one, yeah? All right, because there's two and a half million men. Should be okay. And yeah, Poland's getting some land back. Thanks to the Germans being useless. Yeah. We got nobody defending down there for some reason. Pronto. And they're actually going to choke us off there if we're not careful. That's just insane. Um. Well, if we can't get our planning bonuses because they're all wandering about all over the place, let's just attack balancedly, and those guys move aggressively. We've been pushed out of Moscow, far out. All right, free dockyards though. Um, we still don't have any convoys. Why? Trade and supplies. Soaking them all up. We don't even have enough to supply our people. Okay. Germany, you are a useless ally to have. Thought that was attacking us then. It's just a little bit of Germany. That's fine. Coming from, what, well, old Austrian land. In Tyrol. Alright. Uh... Yeah, we're cut off. Pronto. Pronto. We need to get supplies back. So that's the first move. Look how useless Germany have been as an ally. Look how far back we've been pushed already. Alright, any chance of calling Japan in yet? Nope. Just need to get our supplies back to our tanks. Actually, after they've re-gotten their supplies, they can continue on. Alright, there's the supplies. So, everybody stop. Everybody turn around. Get back to the spearhead. Alright, mount infantry. Now, we don't have an ahead of time bonus. Interesting. Thought that was the one we had it for. And... 40 is close enough. Get extra infantry defense and breakthrough. Tanks can't hold out there, but infantry hopefully will get in in time. Nope, because of them. Alright, cut off again. <laughs> I love how Czechoslovakia is destroying Germany. Oh, their timing. I mean, Germany have 140 divisions. They just don't have... Where are they? They got the pawns out. Type 5. Yeah, they're useless. And that supplies are back for the tanks. Momentarily. Right. 
right, sort them out. Stop them. All right, they'll come down and do a proper spearhead. Um, if we do get down there, I'm just going to curl around and try and sort of shrink this area. Back over to Berlin. All right, pause the infantry for a second. Avanti! Yeah, they are completely sucking. Um, you know what? We don't really care about Germany. So if we can just pull back to, I don't know, somewhere around here. Alright, reconfigure. What's the Soviets over there? If the Soviets go through and do Germany, we'll get our supplies cut off, but hopefully we can push up to Leningrad, get supplies through up there. Nine support equipment a month. No, France. As little as that means to us. And we've lost our supply route through here again. Let's do a counter-offensive. This way. While these guys move this way. That should be an easy one. Right. I'd love to retake Moscow as well. That's not going to happen. He's going to push us further away. Don't think they had time to build their forts around there. Alright, Triumph in Africa, done. So, claims on Yugoslavia. Change in popularity of fascists, etc, etc. Um, sure. Lay claims to them, even though they don't exist anymore. Well, they've capitulated, I guess they still exist. Right, these guys. Come down here, and... Down here. Alright, that'll be good. Got our supplies back. Temporarily. That Soviet division needs to die, as does that one. So if we can encircle him, that'll be good. Alright, Czechoslovakia is still not really pushing from his forts. It's just uh, this whole mess over this side instead. Okay. Looking alright. So, we've got this fast break going. Once we do arrive down there, we're going to want to spearhead to this port. From over there. If we can hold that, then we can really start choking off their supplies. So, that's the plan for the tanks. And... Get rid of him on his way over there. Now, it looks like they're having supply issues, so the longer we keep hammering on the Soviets, the less they'll be able to supply their men with guns. Where is their actual front line at the moment? Not showing. Weird. Okay. Well, still got supplies just getting through. Talk about a salient. Look how ridiculous this spearhead's made the uh, front line. Right, you rush Stalingrad and get these guys to rush Sevastopol. And just to be annoying. No, well, no, they're still a bit too strong to push east at the moment. Doing this as a river crossing is unfortunate. Um, would like to. Break them off and go around instead. Alright. Yeah, I can definitely get through. Um, again, that's unfortunate. Try and get these tanks out and across. Yeah, try and stop them from reinforcing too quickly. Alright, well, we're across the river. Ah, there they are, way up there. Oh, they've been cut off, damn it. Uh, it's a problem with mm, ridiculously massive salience like that. Try and get around this side. These guys will come in from the other side. Alright, now where are they? Uh, 
can't see <laughs> where the front actually is that they're doing this from. It says it's down here, but it's not showing. It's fine. And he's just gotten in to stop us from doing Stalingrad. Okay then, um, let's grab one of these to peel off and try and get around behind him this way. That is going to be a problem. Hmm. Yeah, spreading out too far, too fast. But with a bit of luck, do a pincer down to Rostov. If we can just capture a port, then we don't have to worry about the salient breaking like that. How else are we looking? Yeah, it's still got a while back there. Uh, the planes were in central Russia. If we move them, we've actually got a thousand planes. No, it's got to be somebody else's. It's mostly Germany's. All right, we can come down here to just try and do the Ukraine. All right, that works better. And China has capitulated. And we're going to lose these guys. What do we got? Two tanks. They need to stop and try and defend long enough. Let's get some reinforcements in. Right, how else are we doing here? Pop into Stalingrad. Mm hmm. Well, they're going to do their best. Might not be good enough. There's too many troops walking back and forward to be able to do this, but we'll have to give it a go anyway. Alright, and three tanks on this side. Again, Russia port. Russia, Russian port. Yep, that's a failure. Um, these guys. Men all over the place there. But if we could go through Aurel, might be able to work something out. These guys clearly need to keep moving down to Bryansk. And nowhere else are we doing particularly well. Okay. Don't want to lose those two tanks. No, can't get there in time. Damn it. Well, they had a good old try. Stalingrad is a lost effort. And no, it's not going to work either. So we've got to do something to push to the port. What's your issue? Uh, well, yeah, obviously supplies are a problem. Let's keep moving anyway. Pronto. Pronto. Alright, looks like Comandi. they'll be out in a day and a bit. Uh, still not good enough for an attack. Um, these seven really need to be doing it. Damn it. Let's hope the other guys will continue the fight. Alright, these guys need to stop those cav. Alright. And, this should be annoying, send one guy down to Kiev and take that port. Then get across this river into Gumel. And free dockyards. We're starting to have some convoys piling up, so... Destroyers, cruisers, heavy cruisers, battle cruisers. Which is in this one. And we'd love to have taken Stalingrad to get supplies from them. Um, otherwise, their organization is shot. We have to break through from the north. It's going to be the only way to do it. Alright, 73, 74... Hold them back. <laughs> Got in. Turned around. Come back. Uh, yeah. Don't get encircled. Alright. Let's cancel that. Restart it with everybody. Now, these four need to stop reinforcements from coming. That might hold out. Now, they want a call to arms against the Soviet Union. We're already in that. And he has seen what we were doing there. 
yeah, the Germans don't seem to be able to come over here at all. That's a lot of losses. We have to stop this. Um, they are heading out. They're heading in. No, they're heading out. Alright. Get some tanks down to Rostov would be nice. If right, they're going to keep walking in behind, then we have to stop one guy there to defend. No, they're all coming in. Yeah, this is a complete failure to retake. Si, signore. Si, signore. Alright, head down. Don't know why that's being so hard to take, but uh, okay. You can lose everything down there. Well, that was a risky play, but... Sometimes they work, sometimes you get your ass kicked. Sigs. Yeah, nothing else to do there. Um, don't need any more tank stuff. Uh, leg infantry, soft attack, 5%. I guess. Yeah, but he's broken us into bits and he's overrunning us. So, just as we actually got the supplies in as well. Well then. Can't get in there because it's forest. Because we just have to try and hold out for a bit. Pronto, signore. Alright, maintenance done as well. Now, paratroopers, etc. Not really important. Let's go do this. So they're starting to fall behind time. So it still looks like a really good thing we've got going here. We've got too many troops in there for the supply. We were so close to Stalingrad. We pushed back so hard. Yeah. A lot of errors in this campaign. Uh, five months delay near the start and then, um, yeah, really shouldn't have done either of those wars, Yugoslavia or Spain. Should have just done Belgium and Netherlands instead. And that's okay. Might do another Italian one at some other point. Now, these guys... We'll still try and do something annoying. Now, let's just cancel this. Um, they should be here. Punching through to Kiev. And then there. And they can just go ahead and try. Alright, these guys can go balanced again as well. Right, pulling back from the south before they get overrun. And as long as they can keep supplies, we'll just encircle that whole mess of Soviets. Now, these guys are trying to be balanced. Good. And it is uh, just an equipment issue. So, we've got claims on them. Uh, Albanian occupation. Sure. We are Italy. Should do that. Treaty of Bratislava. How the hell did they take over Czechoslovakia? They were getting screwed by them. They actually did a punch through. Alright, they must pull their troops out. Okay. Wasn't how we were expecting that to go, but Germany can pull these guys over this side now. We sort out Poland. Alright, now tanks are going to be on a rush. Try and keep the... Lines a little wider this time. Speaking of which, should have cut them off. Can we stop him from moving? Oh, nice. Uh, try and get through this way. Do little encirclements while we're working on our larger encirclement. Yeah, not many Soviets in the Polish lands. Alright, this hasn't actually been able to keep up. There we go. <laughs> it's going to be so easy for them to get cut off. Um, this guy... No, there's nowhere to pull through there easily. So we grab a bunch of these to just run down that center point. Get an encirclement here and then 
try the rest after. Yeah, they can see what's happening, so they're coming over this side. Um, everybody here, rush to Kiev. The fall of Kiev is significant. All right, infiltration assault gives us supply consumption reduction. All right, land nine attack. It's always good. All right, they're going to keep trying to push down there. Except we do want some of these guys just pushing directly up, I guess. All right, here we go. They'll probably cut through, but there, finally, a massive encirclement of a bunch of his guys. And some smaller ones as well, much like he did to our tanks. The bugger. All right, now. Don't need that on there. Five are still in the right area. Let's just pull this down to here and pull this one down to here. But they're almost finished as well anyway. Yeah, that's cut off. Okay. So. From this side of the river. Going to have them punching down to Sevastopol. Straight away. And they will have a little bit of supply from the cities, but that won't last long. These guys will have no supply, and we're cutting them to shreds. We make something else. Um, let's go with battle cruisers. Make two per year. We're going to really just get these ready for a war against Japan if we decide to play that long. But for now, we can take a short break. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.